All right, guys, we're gonna do some salmon row cured up. Uh, I get a lot of questions on how to do it. We got my neighbors stopping by. Everybody's trying to get ready for the fall silver run where you can use eggs. And I figured I'd just make a video and then they can watch it. So the prep work is just getting a dry place out of the weather. I got a little cardboard underneath here just to soak up some moisture and two layers of paper towels. And what I'm going to cure them with, you don't need anything fancy or expensive, any of the pro cures. I've been doing this for years and it works wonders. Uh, this is just Borax laundry soap, cheap, 10 bucks. And you're going to use raspberry jello mix. And the raspberry jello actually just dyes the egg. And so when they start getting whitewashed by the water, um, they're kind of dyed. And this will uh, it'll keep them that nice bright color for you longer. But uh, here's how we're gonna, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna start by either some pink salmon and silver salmon egg roe. And we're just gonna lay them out here on the paper towel. These were brought to me. And I wish I would have rinsed them a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything, but they take the dye a little better, the jello, if they're rinsed. So we're just going to sort these all out. So we're going to start with the jello. It doesn't have to be any fancy. We're just looking for the color. It can be sugar free. It can have sugar in it. It doesn't matter. We're just going to lightly sprinkle each side just gonna dye that membrane and a little bit of the egg Take this borax. I want to put that dye on there, and what I mean by dye is the raspberry jello um, on first. I don't want to put any borax on because I want them to penetrate the eggs a little bit. So I'm just going to give them a light, even coat. I'm going to give these a, the second side, I'm going to give them a little heavier coat and I'm going to let these sit overnight outside here on my porch. Hopefully a bear or an animal doesn't get into them, but it's been successful so far. And uh, everybody's humidity is different. Um, depending on where you're doing these, if you're in a nice dry environment, you're going to want to do these probably in one day. Um, I'm going to let them do a two day. So these are going to sit here overnight and tomorrow I'm going to cut them into size, uh, usable size pieces with a pair of scissors and then I'm going to re-roll them in borax and maybe add a little more of the jello if I don't like the color when I cut them. So these are going to sit here overnight and they're going to kind of cure up a little bit, dry out a little, and uh, I will get after them tomorrow with a little, little more, uh, probably a little more raspberry jello and some more borax and cut them into usable size pieces. All right, guys, here we are the next day, and it's kind of how I left with the windows blowing hard, so I put the borax box on top, but it's not going to hurt them. So, here in Southeast Alaska, we're pretty um, high humidity, so things don't dry out as fast as probably where you live, but you can see the color, and then it's kind of stained them. That's what you're looking for. You're trying to stain that membrane, a little bit of the eggs. The uh, borax that we put on here, it's just plain laundry detergent borax. It helps cure them. 
firm them up and it turns the liquid of the egg into kind of a solider mass so they don't milk out as fast. So what I'm going to do, there's no rhyme or reason, what I'm, some people like big baits, I prefer sizes about quarter size. And I'm just going to chop these up real quick into bite size pieces for the salmon. Some people use these for steelhead. Um, we're not allowed to here, but uh, a lot of people use these to steal it. You see, some of these haven't got enough of jello, so I'm going to add a little more jello to some of this. Some of these bigger chunks, you can actually cut twice. Try to keep the membrane on each chunk, the main part of the skein membrane. That's what kind of holds them together. And you can see they're kind of still milky, so, I mean, not milky, but wet. And so you want to you wanna put a little more borax on these and let these uh, cure up a little more. And they'll stay on the hook a lot better. I'm going to do a short video on a snell hook and how to make a bait loop to hold these eggs on here. And that'll probably be one of my next videos. It just helps keep the bait. I've seen a lot of guys here um, using treble hooks because they don't know how to use the snell loop. And, uh, it, you know, you don't have to use the treble hook to put the bait on and try to hook it on there and glob it around the treble hook. If you look, you can kind of see where the jello had stained it, and this is the actual egg itself. So, what I was really trying to stain is this membrane on the back side. This is the egg here. And we're going to get a little more jello in these. Um, I'm not trying to take away from the natural color. I'm just trying to, when it hits the water, not let them get washed out so much and have a little more vibrant color instead of looking like a big wad of whiteness coming down the river. It's got nice color and stays nice color. That's the whole purpose of the jello. The borax, like I said, it just firms them up. So you can see how the outer side is firming up around the outer side, but the inside is still milky. So we're gonna fix that with a, a little bit of more of a, a borax bath here, or brine on them, and it'll help cure them up. Um, if you are in a drier climate and your eggs start getting crispy, that is not good. You want them still soft and pliable. Um, so, like I did, I kind of held the moisture a little bit. I was trying to get the cure to go good and keep the moisture on there and let the borax do its curing process instead of them really drying out. So here we have a really moist environment. So we get a lot of rain and we got a lot of humidity. <laughs> so I'm gonna give these a little more jello for color and it's color only and then I'm going to roll them around in this borax a little more and you can see how the jello is starting to brighten them up keep them nice and red And it's kind of mixing in with the borax, which is fine. So, I'm going to give it, I want these to cure up good and kind of dry out a little bit. They're a little wet. Like I said, you don't want them crispy, but you don't want them gooey either and turn into mush in your, in your bag or Tupperware container, however you're fishing them. You want them to, the goal is to get them to stay on the hook and catch your fish, so. You don't want them falling apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them, and you're going to use all this borax when you bag it, so um, don't worry about too much. All this borax is going to go in the bag or Tupperware container or however you want to do them. So. I'm going to be working in my shop today, putting stuff away, got a day off. So I'm going to let these kind of dry out a little bit. 
and I don't want them. I don't want them crispy. Like I said, I just want them to cure up a little bit, and then we're gonna put them in bags here a little bit later in the afternoon. But that's what you're looking for. It's a nice, clean cut with some. It's got the membrane on one side, so it holds the skein together. You want to keep as much of that membrane as possible intact. And when these firm up with a sporax, we're going to put them in a bag here in a few hours. We're going to let them air dry here. And we'll be back. Next step. Alright guys, these have been sitting for about uh, six, seven hours. And they've really firmed up. If you can take a close look here. Um, they've got a really good color. Uh, they're not dry but uh they've definitely firmed up and that's what you're looking for you don't want them dry but you want them firm and uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this dry borax in the bottom and uh i'm just going to start coating them in here and layering them and what the dry borax does it kind of soaks up any remaining uh fluids you know any moisture and it keeps them nice and don't worry about if you get a little bit of this uh other wet borax it's a little soggy i don't want them soggy i don't want them getting all wet and soggy so just layering them in here you can do this in tupperware dishes you can do it in uh ziploc bags like i'm doing but uh there's your bait try to push out some of the air and uh, that'd be a good day's worth of fishing right there. So um, I'm just gonna repeat the process, use up some of this other borax. I'll save it for another time. But uh, here's how you do some borax and jello cured up salmon roe for bait. So if you like this video, please subscribe, share it with friends. I'm um, getting a lot of people asking me certain questions. It gives me ideas for another video. Um, it might not be the right way or the way you do it or whatever, but this works for me and it's worked for years. So, uh, know where your meat comes from. Wag them and stack them. Enjoy the outdoors and family.